Hi guys, I just wanted to show you really quick how to add the floor if you wanted to add floor tiles um, onto your museum space. Just remember um, that everything that we're doing here is a diagonal back to this vanishing point in the middle. Um, the horizontals are gonna be a straight horizontal. So the first thing you would wanna do is on this wall, just sort of mark. I just am gonna visualize this, I'm not gonna measure it. And I'm just gonna make marks on how wide I want the tiles to be. And then I'm gonna line my ruler up with the vanishing point and I'm gonna make, hold your ruler down really tight. I'm gonna make diagonal lines that connect visually back to that vanishing point. That's gonna make the floor look like it's getting smaller as it gets farther away from the viewer. Then for the horizontal pieces, you wanna just make straight horizontal lines. So when we do that, we need to make sure we line up the edge of our ruler that's in alignment with our paper. Again, if you wanna mark your tile dimensions here, kind of get a visual of how big you want the tiles to be, you can do that. Generally, when they get a little closer to the front of the paper, they should be a little bit bigger. So if I double check that my ruler is lined up, I should be able to make pretty straight horizontal lines, adding in that tile floor. And last thing I'm gonna show you one more time is for anybody that wasn't sure, or didn't know how to add in the picture frames on the sides, you can do that. Um, on the back wall, you can use your ruler or you can freehand it. You can just make one large frame. This part is in 2D, so this is not a 3D picture and you'll add your artwork in here. On the side walls, you again, just make a little mark of how wide you want your frame to be. We're gonna make these lines for the size of the frame extremely vertical. So you're gonna line your ruler up with the edge of the paper, make a vertical line. Then over here, make another vertical line. Then determine how tall your picture frame is gonna be. I like to just make some little marks that I can erase later. And then the picture frame, just like the floor, goes on a diagonal back to that vanishing point. So give it a try, see how accurate you can make it. Um, when you're working with perspective, it's all about being precise. Um, go ahead and work on your artwork within the frames and have fun creating.